Ben van Veik was a qualified doctor, busy completing his community service when a tragic car accident changed his life. The accident left him with extensive injuries to his arm and shoulder, his internal organs and his brain. He was confined to his hospital bed for six months, forcing the doctor to become the patient. So life before the accident. Accident happened at the end of 20, 2012. 2012 was my year that I spent in Sutherland doing my community service. I was in a really good space at that time. I loved the rural environment. I was in great shape. I was busy training for the half Ironman in 2014 that was supposed to happen. Then on my way down for a job interview in Cape Town to start specializing as a family medicine practitioner when I th I'm not sure exactly what happened. It's like a phantom of a memory that there was a, a buck that jumped in front of the car on the road and I got a fright and I overcompensated to the right and then smashed into, a, into the mountainside. After the accident, I was out, stone cold. So I can't really remember anything, but I was lucky enough in the sense that there was a local couple in the car behind me. And then they took me to Sutherland Hospital where I was the doctor on call. Initially, there was not much they could do about the brain injury, which they weren't really aware of, because I, I had a stroke subsequently to the accident, only three to four days after the accident in hospital. And due to the stroke, my brain started swelling and started pushing the brain stem through the hole in the skull where the spinal cord goes in, which essentially means certain death. And then they had to transfer me to Somerset West Medical Clinic where craniotomy had to be done to relieve the pressure to save my life. After traumatic events like car accidents, families often have to make complex and difficult medical decisions about their loved one's condition. Whether or not to perform the life-saving craniotomy was one for Ben's family. I learned about Ben's accident on Facebook at the Sunday after the accident and then eventually I got hold of his brother which then phoned me on the Monday morning to say that um, in tears, you have to come now. My brother's gonna die, they're gonna switch off the machine. When I got there, they didn't allow anybody in anymore, but I forced my way in, to be quite honest, and I saw him and he was just looking like Ben to me. But obviously it was hard, because you see Ben, but you know that that person might be somewhere there, but you're not sure. Seeing Ben getting stronger, it's amazing. Because I knew him from before, I knew what Ben was like. Ben is still there, he's getting stronger every single day, he's climbing stairs, he is making jokes, he's walking, he's running. It's amazing. Since the accident, and without being able to practice medicine, Ben has faced many challenges along his road to recovery. So the medical expenses of this whole journey has been immense, as I'm sure you can imagine. I was lucky in the sense that I did have comprehensive cover into, with medical aid, so that was a providence. But medical expenses for trauma and, and disability cover are crazy. The way I would like to use my skills in the future, I don't think I would ever go back to clinical medicine, but that's just how I feel now. I would love to teach. Teaching is something that has always made me come alive from the inside. And I think, having been a patient now, I would be able to bring quite a lot more to the table in terms of teaching undergraduate med medical students to what really is important. You don't heal with your hands, you heal with your heart. I guess the advice I'd give to someone that is recovering from severe trauma or, or a stroke is the only true disability in life is a bad attitude. So if you can fix your attitude, you're going to go far. So just, just be better with your attitude and you're going to be fine. The past can't be changed and his future is different from what he planned. But after months of rehabilitation and hard work, Ben is looking forward to what comes next.